What's up, guys? Another sunny day. We're back at the shop. Pool around. We're doing a quick video today. Show you guys how my clutch magnet work in the Camaro. Y'all know our class race. 605-7550. And uh, racing with this with this clutch, I'm at a disadvantage over the uh, over the automatic cars. And also with the stick shift, it's manually shifted. So I shift four times going down the track. It's a five speed. So there's five opportunities to miss my shift point and the car not run on the dial. But I've been doing it so long, getting over, and in this car, I can I can pretty much hit the shift points I want. And sometimes I actually even use the, the shift points to uh, gauge the uh, person in the other lane. For example, if I see on my head or the other guy, I may quick shift to slow the car down a little bit. So I done learned to adapt, but I'm gonna show you guys Sometimes when I'm on, I can I can hit the tree just like everybody else. And actually, I got a I got a delay box in this car because when I'm real on that light, I can actually go red. I have to slow it down with the delay box. But I'm gonna show you guys. You see here, this one got a magnet on my clutch. That switch right there is used to activate my two step. I'm showing them. I use this button right here feeds that clutch magnet so when I'm going in the lights I match that button when I get in the lights match the clutch to the floor it holds the uh, magnet holds the clutch to the floor to release the button it pops up and that button also goes through my two step I mean goes through my I got a, a mega 400 box in it tucked away under the carpet so I use that for my delay if I need it and uh, also I use it for my nitro times. Let me show you guys. I also got my, my this button right here. It goes through my uh, to my line lock. I got a nitrous uh, gauge for my line lock for my brake pressure. As you can see as I match the brake. Brake pressure come up. And match that button. It'll hold it and release. That's to keep the car from rolling in the lights. And I got my magnet set up where it only works in the first gear. See this light here? It's coming on. That let me know I'm in first gear. I done lost a couple of races by taking off in the wrong gear and not paying attention. So that's how I put a button in the car. A light in the car let me know. But let me show you guys how this magnet works. I got the mat, I got my, my button match now. Release it. See how hard it pops up. That helped me hit the tree just like those automatic guys. But one thing you gotta be sure to have your foot out the way. You see that little light right there that's coming on when I match the clutch? That's that's related, that's connected to my two-step to let me know when my two-step is activated. But then I just gotta go through the gearbox. That's second, third, fourth, fifth. I, always, I try to get my cars where I use all five gears in the eighth mile. Over, over, I found that that's, cars just typically faster if you can use all five gears. You run bigger miles per hour out the back. So, on the 570 run, I, I normally go to fifth gear right at five seconds. Show you guys how this delay box work. I'm gonna put let's say five seconds. So it's gonna delay me five seconds. After I release this button before that magnet pop up. But when I'm class racing, I I can go 20 red, so I normally put no more than 20 in the box. Well. If I can go 20 red, 
I'll probably put 25, 30 in the box. Give me a little room to play with for rollout and all that. All right, guys, see, the clutch is on the floor, hand on the button, hand off the button. Five seconds later, the magnet pop up. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. Ride around a little bit. Hey, but like and subscribe and share I'm trying to grow this page this year you know like i committed to on my first video of the year i'm gonna try to do more posting more often so hit the notification button so you'll be notified when i load something or a new video y'all take care